Oh, hey there, friend. Coming up, we're going to get creative and make the planets. We'll learn how to draw a rocket ship, and we're going to blast off into the stars to explore our solar system. Let's get to it. Let's explore and let's create. We'll have fun while we learn and play. It's Brimmy. <laughs> oh, hey, how are you doing? Good? Me too. Hey, I was just looking through my telescope. It's really cool. Do you want to take a look? You do? Cool, I was just looking at the moon. Maybe you can see it too. Here, have a look. Yeah, there's the moon. Wow, it's so bright. And so pretty too. I love the moon. Wow, that's so cool that we can see the moon with this telescope. I wish we could see the other planets. Hmm. Yeah, the other planets. You know about the other planets, right? There's eight planets in our solar system. And we live on one right now called Earth. Yeah, but the other ones, they're really cool too. I should show you the other planets. Would you like to see them? Uh, we can't see them with our telescope, but we can create them. Do you want to create them with me? You do? It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to go get the art supplies that we need, and I will be right back with you inside. Let's go! All right, so here's what you're going to need. <laughs> the first thing I have here are a couple of styrofoam balls, eight in total, and all in different sizes. The next thing we'll need are some foam brushes. These work great with the paints we have today. I've got blue paint, yellow paint, and red paint, which I'll mix in different ways to make different colors. We're gonna need some craft sticks, okay, not that many craft sticks. We've also got yarn to hang the planets. And what are we gonna hang them on? Hooks, of course. We'll be putting these in each of our planets. Here, let me show you. What we'll want to do is take our hooks and put them in the planets just like this before we get started. I'm doing that now, and it'll look something like this. Oh, and I almost forgot. We're going to need something to put our paint on, and that's why I have this. Yeah, you take this and you put your thumb in here and you grip it like that. Yeah. This is a palette, the best friend of the artist. You can put your paint on the palette and use it while you paint. Pretty cool, huh? Well, I think I'm ready to get started. Are you? Ooh, let's get to it. This is the color gray. Yeah, and this is the first planet. This is Mercury. Yeah, all done. This planet, this is Venus, and this is the color yellow. This, this is the color blue. Yeah. And we're not done with this one yet. No, because this planet, this planet has one more color on it. Let's put it on now. That looks better. Do you know what planet this is? I bet you do, don't you? <laughs> this is Earth. 
and it's not only blue, it's blue and green. Yeah, the blue is the water, and the green, that's the land that we all live on. Pretty cool, huh? Well, on to the next planet. Yeah, I think that's done. Oh, that's really red. What planet is red? It's right next to Earth. This planet? This planet is Mars. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? Yeah, <laughs> I like that. What color is this? Do you know? You do? That's right, yeah, orange. Good job. But we're not done with this planet yet. This planet's got uh, a little bit more color on it. Let's do that now. Yeah, well what color is that? Yellow. So we've got orange, and we've added a little bit of yellow. There's one more color that I wanna put on this planet. Watch. Yeah, red. But we don't need a lot. Just, uh, hmm. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> that looks good. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of red. The last thing I'm gonna do is get a little bit more red. And we're gonna plop that right here. Yeah, just a big old red dot. <laughs> That's because this, this is Jupiter. Yeah, Jupiter has orange and yellows and a big red spot. <laughs> that big red spot is actually a big storm. It's been raging on Jupiter for a long time. Wow, pretty cool. On to the next planet. I think that's done. This planet? Yeah. This planet is also yellow. And mm, it's got a little red on it too. <laughs> but this planet? This planet isn't done. <laughs> now this planet is the one with the rings. That's right. We need to find a way to put a ring around this planet. And I've got a pretty good idea. Do you remember those craft sticks that we have? Yeah, we're gonna use those now. Okay, grab your craft sticks. Okay, I'm gonna grab four of them. And what we'll wanna do is take your stick and you'll see that there's a part of this planet where there's a seam and you can see where the middle is and you want to take your craft stick and poke it right into the middle. <laughs> These styrofoam balls are kind of hard to stick stuff in. Okay, so you'll want to have your stick sticking out of the planet like that. And real quick, I'm just going to put three more in, okay? Okay, so I was only able to get three in there. <laughs> My fourth one broke, <laughs> but that's okay. So now this planet has three sticks sticking out of it. We're gonna use these as a shelf for our ring. Yeah, so we'll take our ring Put it on the planet just like that pretty cool but first we need to paint the ring 
Let's do that now. <laughs> I got the ring on the stick. So now I can paint it brown. Yeah, I'm gonna paint it brown. Let's do it. want to you can paint the whole thing but I'm just gonna paint the top just like that now let's put it on our planet all right we got our planet and we've got our ring now be careful the paint's still wet don't want to get it on our planet but we might and that's okay See that? That looks like Saturn. Yeah, this planet is Saturn. And this planet has a big gas ball at the center and a ring, which is actually seven different rings, but it looks like one around the planet. It's made of ice and rock. Isn't that cool? We're done with this planet. Let's move on to the next one. What a pretty blue color. <laughs> yeah, this is blue. You know, kind of a light blue. This planet, this planet is Uranus. Yeah, uh, some people call it Uranus, but mm -hmm, either way works. This planet is really cool because it spins on its side. Yeah, well, on to the next planet. I think that's done. This planet is also blue. This planet, though, is a much darker blue. This planet is Neptune, and this is the last planet in our solar system. Wow. We just made all eight planets. These planets are really nice. Thank you so much for your help in getting these made. I think we did a great job, but they're not the real thing, huh? I wish we could explore the solar system for real. That would be so much fun. But you know, we can't do that. If we were gonna do that, we'd have to have like a rocket ship or something. We might not be able to get a real rocket ship, but what if we pretended? Have you ever pretended before? Used your imagination? Oh, it may not be exploring space but it's the next best thing. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, okay, okay. First, we need to get a rocket ship. The best way I know how to do that is to draw one. Do you want to draw a rocket ship with me? You do? Okay, great. Come here, I'll show you how to draw one. To draw a rocket ship, we're gonna need some paper, I've got my notebook here full of paper. All right, and also we're gonna need some colors. I've got some crayons, but you can use whatever you want. These crayons are blue and yellow, two of my favorite colors. All right, well, let's get started. What do you say? Let's start with yellow. I'm going to start by drawing a rectangle right in the middle. Rectangles have four sides. 
One, two, three, and four. Color it in. Nice. Now, let's get our blue and let's draw a circle in our rectangle. This is gonna be the window for the rocket ship. Yeah. Color it in. <laughs> That's good. Now, let's give our rocket ship a top. This is gonna be a triangle. So we're gonna use three sides. One, two, three. Very good. Color it in. Do, 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 do. Okay. Now we need three more triangles. Ready? Follow along. One triangle on this side. One triangle on this side. And one triangle right in the middle. Color them in. Guys, I think we just drew a rocket ship. Oh, it's so nice. I think we can use this rocket ship to explore the stars. Let's go. All right, we're back outside because inside, that's gonna be a little small for a rocket ship, don't you think? All right, now that we have our rocket ship, I think we can use our imagination and make it come to life. Okay, we gotta think real hard and imagine our rocket ship right next to us, okay? Think real hard. Oh! Did we do it? Whoa! Look at it! It's amazing! Let's get in! Let's go check it out! Come on! Whoa! Check this place out! This is my rocket ship! It's exactly how I imagined it. <laughs> Ooh, I think we're ready for takeoff. We've got some stars and planets to explore. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a countdown from five to one, and then we're gonna blast off and sing the solar system song. Are you ready? Okay, hold on, let me prep the engines. Oh, I got some buttons to push over here and uh, not over here, you know. <laughs> okay. Beep, 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 beep. We're all ready. Beep. You hear the beep? beep? Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off!
for watching my video. There's plenty more creativity, learning, and fun where that came from. Parents, help your little ones out. Make sure to subscribe and follow me on Instagram and Facebook to see when my new videos are coming out. Well, until next time, <laughs> see you soon. Bye.